In this video I'm going to show you how to use Landstar to add road to data manually and then set it up so that you could do road staking out. First we need to start a project so I'm just going to go to my projects page and create a new project and we'll just call this um, road demo or whatever. So I'm just setting my coordinate system for the job. Everything should be pretty standard from here. And then we need to go to our project page and we will click on the roads button. In here we will create a new file. So you just press new file and give your road a name. Let's just call this road ABC and then we need to give this alignment a name so let's just call this again uh, in fact I'm just gonna call this ABC it's any name that you want and then you have to choose how you will enter your horizontal alignment information I'm gonna use PI and position of my horizontal alignment will be in the center of my carriageway so we will have a left and a right hand side and then the start change is usually change zero or station zero the way Landstar calls it in South Africa we talk about changes so we'll just say okay and then you see a screen where you have to input all your data values so I'm gonna go horizontal alignment first and we will say add now the very first horizontal alignment position is usually a PI without a curve so I'm gonna click that and we're going to give it a name, just call it start. And then you have to type in your northings and easting values. Now, I've got a horizontal alignment um, that we're given for this specific road. So I will just use that information and just type it in here. Then we need to add our second PI. This one will be a PI that's got a curve in it. And we'll just call this one PI2. Let's just call it PI2. And the radius is 40 meters. We have another one. And our final PI, this one, we end on a point without a curve again. All right. That's our horizontal alignment. And I can go check it. So just to confirm that I've got all my alignment points in. And all the coordinates are correct I just double check it and compare it to the coordinates that's there next we will bring up the long section so here you can see let me just pull this down and here you can see the vertical alignment details that we will enter into the software as well so we're going to go vertical alignment and we're going to add a point so the very first point is our station zero and elevation there is 35.96 the second point is at this stage Landstore only allows us to put in a, sym a symmetrical parabola so um, we need to calculate the radius now, according to the vertical alignment, our grades are going to be used to determine our radius values. So, we have a, let's just go and look at the picture of the actual section. So, you can see it's an uphill grade all the time, so it's going to be a positive grade. And they are basically 1, 2, 3, 
four VPIs, two of which have a curve length. We have our chainage or station value and then height for both of these VPIs. And then we have to use the center height for that last uh, VPI. So the equation is done like this. So you will see th the equation works by multiplying the curve length. That's our curve length value there. I'm just going to double click there. So B5 is currently 40 meters. That's our VP, uh, vertical PI curve length. And then, um, oops, let's just get back there. <coughs> and then we take um, the grade from the first PI to the actual PI of which we are looking at at the moment. So in this case, it's PI1 which is the start of our road to PI2, which is our VPI with the 40 meter curve length. Um, and down here I've actually um, just quickly jotted down all the VPIs. I've written down all the heights that I just got off the long section. And then I worked out the grades uh, to each PI. So this is the the grade from PI1 to PI2 okay so maybe I should just write it a little bit differently but um, let's write it like that so it's going to be cross-referenced so so the equation says we have to take uh, the curve length times 100 divided by and then we have to subtract the grade in from the grade out and that will give us a value. Now, this will give us the radius that will be used in the symmetric parabola required by Landstar rate. All right, so I'm just going to do the same there. So I'm just going to drag this down and just pull that one back up because it's actually the same curve length. And uh, Let's just double check that it gets the correct grades there. Alright, so that's fine like that. And um, like I said before, don't worry if this is a negative. Sometimes your grades will go up, sometimes they will go down. The value uses the absolute one is the positive value of that value. And you can possibly uh, make the number of decimals down to three so that's pretty much the number we are looking at all right so i'm just going to continue entering my station so the station two is actually the um, value 155.706 just to show that to you on the actual long section i'll just zoom in a bit there Right, so that's that value there, and you can actually see it's pretty much on the same line here. All right, so and that's the elevation we're looking for, which is 47.2, and the radius we calculated it there, it's 644.87 and okay and add another one symmetric parabola this one is on that station 237.307 elevation 48.013 and the radius is 7153.393 and then we have to add our last PI which is the end of our vertical alignment so that is the end of the road also 395 and the elevation is 48.190 okay so that is done and then we can go ahead and do some checks if we like um, but I'll ch do my checks on my road edges later 
but if you just need to do this you just click on the three dots at the top there and we can actually press this uh, review button this will show us a nice little drawing and you can see that it's actually not a symmetrical parabola so that um, will uh, in fact affect the radius somewhat but uh, Landstar takes that into account and does the calculation and we'll look at the actual levels a little bit later to see what it comes up with so uh, then if I go to stations here we can go and check every 20 meter interval and compare the design elevation of the center line I'm just going to do one for instance let's go do that one that says 80 so let's go to station 80 there it's 41.74 and fair enough that is pretty much what we see there it's just difficult with a um, touch screen to draw circles and lines and so on I don't have a mouse to show there let's just check one more I want to go in sort of in a vertical curve let's do one at 160 and there we have uh, 47.05 and that checks out so you can see that the even though that vertical curve is not perfectly symmetrical the maths works out let's do one here at 240 48.00 there we go all right so the vertical alignment and the horizontal alignment seems to be happy it matches and now we will go and do our cross-section templates